Hi, ChatGPT plugins serve as a bridge linking ChatGPT to external APIs to use these APIs data intelligently. And these plugins let the ChatGPT undertake a range of tasks such as retrieving the up-to-date information from other APIs, including sport results, stock market data, breaking news, and assisting users in performing actions like uh, flight booking or food ordering. There are some existing plugins already in the custom plugin marketplace, but also you can develop your own custom plugin. In the meantime, API 6 can be the gateway between ChatGPT and backend services by providing features such as authentication, rate limiting and request response transformations. In this video, you will learn how to develop and use the ChatGPT plugin for API Gateway. This can be another approach to use the chatbot to configure the API Gateway features. Start with opening the GitHub repo for custom ChatGPT plugin for API Gateway and clone it and open this project in your favorite editor. Some of the prerequisites you need before you get started. So make sure that you have the basic understanding of how the API 6 works and the key concepts such as what is route, upstream, admin API, and so on. Make sure that also you have Docker installed on your machine so we can deploy ETCD and API 6 together. And also you, you should have a ChatGPT Plus account to develop your own custom ChatGPT plugins. If you don't have one, join the plugin waitlist. The link to the repo in the video description. Once you open the project folder, you can see there are some more folders like API 6 config and ChatGPT plugin config and Docker Compose YAML file. If you navigate to API 6 config YAML file, it is pretty much simple. We are go creating API 6 configurations, uh, including inside the static files, the YAML file, and we are defining our deployment mode as it is using etcd because we are going to send some configuration requests to admin API. And next we are registering etcd and API 6 using Docker Compose. We are just taking both images from API 6 and etcd. Also we do, we do have another ChatGPT config service. It is under ChatGPT plugin config folder where we are defining plugin configurations. If you follow a getting started guide on OpenAI website, to build any new custom ChatGPT plugin, we need the following these general three steps. The first step, we need to develop or use an existing API that implements OpenAPI specification. In our case, if you navigate OpenAPI YAML file, we are leveraging API 6 admin API and we just extracted some of the passes available on API 6 admin. Uh, it's here, we define them, and then you document this API either on YAML file or JSON format. As you can see, we are providing uh, some ChatGPT plugin metadata, like uh, title, description, and where uh, this plugin is going to run. It will run on localhost 5000, and we also generated the JSON plugin manifest file that contains all the essential information about the plugin. That is, uh, for example, what kind of description we are giving to the ChatGPT interface that we are, should define, for example, you know, some of the prompt, initial prompt for ChatGPT to say, please create an update or delete existing API 6 routes and these uh, or create upstream plugins in satellite configuration and uh, these instructions the chat gpt can understand and uh, these instructions will be converted to the api calls we define it in the open api yaml file the definition of each files you can find on a written blog post i'm also leaving the link in the video description Start with running this demo project by doing docker compose app and it will run all the necessary containers we need for the demo. 
once we deploy the ChatGPT plugin and plugin config files accessible through API, now we are ready to test it out. Just uh, copy the domain part of this uh, server URL and open on your browser ChatGPT interface. If you have a plus account, you must first enable the plugin in the plugins option. As you can see, I have already registered my plugin. If you haven't registered yet, you will go to plugin store and find the option develop your own plugin and paste here the address of the plugin config APIs under this box. You know, in our case, it's running on localhost 5000 and click on find the manifest. And once it's successfully the plugins installed, you will see ChatGPT validates successfully both manifest and open API spec files. Here are the spec file and manifest file. And install the localhost plugin. Once you install the local plugin, now ChatGPT starts to use this plugin's information when it's answering your user queries. Now the plugin is connected to the ChatGPT interface, we can write a simple commands. Because we don't have any route in the API 6, we can create a new one. Here, depending on the language used in our prompt ChatGPT, we'll choose to call the appropriate API 6 admin endpoints. We create the first empty route and with the next one with specific details. And then we can enable the JWT plugin for our existing route. In addition to the simple routing the request, there are many things you can improve on this plugin or add extra features that API 6 offers via the admin API. To learn more step by step how to create a custom plugin for API Gateway with basic functionalities, you can read this blog post on api7.ai website. So you can take a sample project as a foundation and improve functionalities by adding more API 6 admin API specifications to the openapi.yaml file inside the project so uh, you can test out the plugins and add API consumers and more. And feel free to contribute to the GitHub project by rising pull requests. Thank you for watching. If you would like to learn more about API 6, please subscribe to our channel.